For one out stamped up, this is the duck hunt event. We're gonna get into another battle. To my right, we got my homie Rambles. Yeah. 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 To my left, D backs. Yeah. 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 Shout out to MC Bryce, DJ Seva. My homies from coming from Ballarat to watch this shit. Let's go. Do it. Right, we've already done the coin flip. Rambles is gonna go first. Six seconds on you, bro. Hold it down. Hey, yo, I'm number one round here. About to be three wins in a row, that tells the tale. Fought off my opponents, battled in sunshine, rain and hail. This faggot comes down from Ballarat thinking victory's in sight. But cunt, if you haven't realised, I'm the guy that watches you sleep at night. The guy that creeps in your dreams and makes you scream in fright. The freak, the sheik, you're mentally weak. When Rambles is here, you feel heat from the beat. Mm. Hey yo, as for D-backs, I'll steal your fucking weed stash. <laughs> Smoke it all in front of you and give you a written receipt back. D-backs, you ain't that. You certainly fucking ain't rap. So tie rope around your neck so I can sit back and watch your brain splat. Cause this is my league, motherfucker. Don't you dare think you can step to me. Or I'll rip your appendix from your body. That's called an appendectomy. Yeah. Then I'll sneak into your house and cut you up using a chainsaw. Then I'll rip you inside out and slit your spout because, man, my brain's raw. <laughs> now I'll freakishly devour this beastly tower and leave him slain. John C. is peacefully silent now. He's down, he's out. d backs is way gone. So yeah. I'm yeah. 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 Dude, that's really creepy watching me sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> On this. <laughs> you had sex with ale. <laughs> I'm just talking. Anyways, this might be the start of your career, but I'll make sure it's the end. He can't say anything vicious. He's already swimming with the fishes because he jumped straight in the deep end. Do you even think you're going to win? Fat chance, bitch. You dream to be sunk and lost. Atlantis. Yeah. Say good luck, multis, metaphors, presents, wordplay, delivery. Just some of the things that he needs. He smokes so much bud that all he does is seaweed. So you're a miserable piece of shit. Well, I'm living a great life, man. I'm a killer out here and a great white man. Why well, rise up? You stay down under me. I don't respect you. I knew your bitch before I met you. In this Aussie scene, they call me Neptune. I'm the king from down under. See? I'm going to rape that baby girl that you call sugar. <laughs> and then take your honey home. You think that's funny, bro? You won't be laughing when I break a funny bone. <laughs> now, funny bone. Well, that's humorous. I'm ahead of my time on that future tip. I'm glad I've got someone new to diss, but you to diss? You're just a definition of what stupid is. You're ahead without a torso. For me to battle a nobody... That's ridiculous, man. That's ludicrous. He got no match. Can somebody land a friend? This shady cat's playing at rap. I'm a monster, a maniac. Well, that's M and M. I can't believe I've got to kill such a nice dude. Hot as fuck, but still chill like Ice Cube. I aim to be ill. Ask to so say I don't kill. Cunts enough, well, I will. Fuck you up and you still fucking suck. You can fall now or fall later. I'm a ball breaker. I will bust your nuts. I won't stop into these kids. Victorious. I aim to be big. Notorious. Tom. Yeah. 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 Second round of rambles. Hey yo, in ancient Babylonic times, you would have been stoned at birth. But something catastrophic arises to survive when you should have been burnt. See, I'm the fucking saviour, that good Samaritan to battle rap then. When putting you in comparison, I'm like, I don't want to waste my time on that. Because this matchup is fucking embarrassing, so can the next one actually have a crack? Because when the push comes to the shove, Ramble smacks d backs down like Panamax. <laughs> and yo, uh, Pineapple once told me that d backs is kind of fruity. And then an apple said to me, his core fits in quite loosely. So I'll put you in a blender till you're nice and juicy, then I'll light a doobie and watch your brains go mushy and scramble. This plan will go off without a doozy, because it was planned out by Master Brambles will leave you shut in shambles. Oh, rickety and whacked out. And if you say another word, I'll leave you fucking smacked out. And yo, I'm calling this a body bag the way I'm making D backs down. Yeah. 
Cause I don't know who you think you are, you're sitting on that pedestal What looking down on me, thinking that you're better still I'm here to knock you, drop you off, round ass kick you in the face Then I finish you off with a ninja chop Time Yeah, yeah. Yep. Thanks for the noise See yeah. so rambles are shit, well back straight I'ma run through your house, trample On all your friends that live there, flat mates yeah. <laughs> as soon as I seen a picture, I wanted to smack him out. I didn't want to keep you waiting. I could never be too patient. I would knock you and your best mate out. I know the hospital needs two patients. Besides that, no one wants to see you naked. One look and they realise he's just a freak mutated. So what? You've had sex with a couple good looking girls. Congratulations. <laughs> and two black men? Jeez, I would have stayed away if I knew that. Damn! Is it just me and a shoe here look like Hugh Jack, man? Yeah, if you landed in a gay pool of jeans. Because as far as I'm concerned, Wolverine didn't let go, turn Metro and star in Twilight. Am I right? If you ever turn into a beast by the night sky, I'm going to track down your bits and slice her throat. Then carve him up and make a fur coat. I can't wait to wear wolf. <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking at? Don't stare, poof! <laughs> so the only beast in this neck of the woods, me. Any second this could be traumatic, then you reckon I could be a weapon that should be automatic? But could write a manual for the game, then show you how to do this when I stole your mole up in down your doll, like a voodist. See, we aren't in the beach, but I'm sure he's washed up. Only known for sucking like a vacuum, and it's about time you die. Son, <laughs> you're gonna get rolled yeah. like a die, son. So what in this game you kind of knew, bro? I can call him Homer Simpson the way you don't have a clue. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm different. Well, you need to change more. Everybody's sick of you. The whole fucking game's bored. You're gonna get wrecked, mate. You don't believe you want to bet, mate? You got cash, friend? Check, mate. <laughs> Tom. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'll cover this fuck with, with particles of barnacles. And then I'll post it on the internet, articles and articles. Rambles bodies D back, sends him back to Ballarat, covers the cunt in barnacles and smacks him black with the back of his head. Can't stop this attack, feel the force of the crap, and then I'm morsing the facts that are torched down your backs. Yeah. You see, this is divine intervention. My sublime primetime rhymes will leave you flying higher in suspension. Yeah. You'll cry while I eat fresh mints. This is my time, so do not test this. Because I'm a crazy motherfucker and you've already seen what I can do with a chainsaw. I'll hack you with three, tie you back to a tree, cut off your legs, then crack you in the head with a 23. See, I'm going to put it down as simple now, so this is what you see. I've dissed on your name throughout this battle, so victory's coming to me. Take my snipers out, no survivors now. I'll be seeing bodies in three. But really, can't you see that this Rambles guy, he's that selfless type. He's sincere in all his ways. Loud on that mic while I prowl through the night. You're my boss, they'll set you ablaze. They'll set your mind into drive. Change the gears through your mind. If what they hear is what they like, then what you seek isn't what you'll find. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Tom, has something written, but no. Yeah. Make some noise. Yeah. 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 Fun on three backs. Yo. I'm getting bigger and better, you can see a rapid grow, man. Well, you suck, period. Let's see you've a plow, man. <laughs> you used to snitch, nobody wants to hear this rat talk. Dressing like that thing, you're making a fashion statement. I'm gonna cut his legs off. Don't ever want to see this cat walk. Mm. Now, this is absurd. I've got a picture of James Hurd in my room. He's got a shrine to Rory Davis and his daddy naked. That's wacky, ain't it? Has anybody seen Wacky Races? <sighs> Trust me, it's smartly. <laughs> You'll never score in this game no matter how hard you try Cause it ain't rugby, but it's game over, you're fucked now He got molested as a three-year-old below the waist That's what I call a touchdown wow. I'ma bite your head off, you get your face mauled Fuck hitting him here, I'll slug him at the park like it was baseball With quick flips I crush some bones, so quick bitch you must run home <laughs> I'll smack him in the jaw to make sure that the dentist calls. Now fuck that! I'll get my missus to cut up his nutsack <laughs> and then use him as tennis balls. Yeah. <laughs> so to take me on while well, you got nerve, although this is a game you're not played, you're not heard, but like a movie about dancing, you got served. So best believe when I leave, the king is gone, yeah, get fucked. I'm gonna stomp the yard. Hope you're ready to bring it on and step up. Yeah. If this was a sport, I'd be the best performer. You better bench warmer or the water. Boy, like Adam Sandler. I'll be the one with the strongest bars, running the longest yard. See, I need some anger management or something to keep this kid happy. 
Maybe I'll fuck your bitch, but I'll have to take on 50 dates first. Hopefully I can be a big daddy. <laughs> <laughs> See, I killed you and now I'm ready to kill more. Well, that did make me happy. Gilmore. What up, Mason? We just watched Rambles and D-Bags. Um, I thought that was a really close battle. Um, Rambles has got heaps of um, potential. His, his performance is really um, animated and he's like yelling and screaming and getting up in his face. And I think his lines, like, when he gets a few more battles and his lines get a little bit better, he'll, he'll really be a good battler. Um, I, I edged that one slightly probably just across all three rounds to D-Bags. Um, some of his lines just got big crowd reactions and he, he just basically controlled the crowd a bit better, just showed a bit more experience and um, just better on the day. D-Bags, cheers. What's up? We just watched um, D-Bags versus um, Rambles. We watched D-Bags versus Rambles. Um, I'm gonna break it down like this. D-Bags stopped doing his fast flow, or, you know, to a degree, so um, that was good. Because um, I missed all that last time. Um, Rambles was real original and real creative, you know, as a smaller crowd, so there wasn't much reactions for either. But um, with what Rambles was saying, uh, you know, it was not heard before, you know, his own original stuff. Uh, I'm not saying D Bax wasn't original, uh, but a lot of his stuff, I don't know if he's watched the international battles or hasn't seen what's been, been said, but um, I guess I'd call it um, the first to Rambles. Um, for it was it was quite funny and quite just just uh, you know likable. Um, the second D-backs uh, beasted his, his uh, wordplay and his bars. You know that whole stop stop punch. That was cool. Um, the third again just based on stuff I hadn't heard originality. I I give to Rambles. So I edge that battle to Rambles. Just an edge. Easy. Oh, Davey C, deciding vote. Um, well, I disagree with John. I think D-Bax took that battle 2-0. Two, uh, two gave the first round even. Um, I thought Rambles came with some really good bars. Um, I thought D-Bax probably had the better punch lines, but uh, in places they both had flow game and sort of vocal control stuff that worked and didn't work, so yeah, I gave it even. In the second round, d backs ability to create punch lines, talk down, be more, um, have more presence and atmosphere gave in that round. Um, I like the, you know, you get rolled like a die, son, and the vacuum. I don't know, I thought it was good. Um, in the third round, I did think Rambles was sort of rambling a bit, like, I... Uh, whilst I appreciate what John said that it was original, um, look, not what I'm looking for in a battle. I didn't think it really, um, a lot of it was a bit too irrelevant, and yeah, I prefer him in these other performances that I've seen from him. Um, D backs did come with more of the same, um, but yeah, like I think the, the punches and the crowd control were able to give it to D backs 2 0.